Major upgrade coming, Evelyn. Upgrade coming, Evelyn. <laughs> What's in the back, Evelyn? What? What's back there? What'd we put wheels. in the. <laughs> yeah, we got new wheels. That was a good one, Evelyn. She said the wheels are getting so tired. <laughs> Get it, wheels tired? So today I went and picked up these stock 5th gen Camaro SS wheels. Now um, these tires are a little bit bigger in the back than the front and you need the same size tires on full wheel drive and all wheel drive vehicles because it will cause premature wear and damage to the drivetrain from unequal rotating speeds. So, to be on the safe side, we are going to unhook the front drive shaft so we can run these. So, we're going to change out these wheels. Yeah. Do it. Step on that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's go put them on. up today I didn't realize that the back tires are actually bigger than the front tires 
and on four wheel drive and all wheel drive vehicles you can't run two different size tires on them. So we're going to take out the front drive shaft so it doesn't create any issues. We're not going to bore you with that in this video today so if you're interested in knowing how to do that here's a how to video in the top right hand corner. All right, let's lower it down. Jack it up and remove the jack stand. Yeah, I definitely think we need to adjust the camber again sometime. Get in it, back it up, turn the wheels, wiggle it around, and pull back forward. That way it'll settle the suspension. Yeah, keep going back, but don't hit the red truck. And then slam on the brakes when you get to where you're going. Straighten wheel up. Yeah. It doesn't have so much positive camber anymore. It looks pretty good. Too bad. Not too bad for me. Mommy, it's not too bad for me. It's not too bad for her, Mom. No. He's stronger. Yeah, you're so strong. Let me help. You want to help? I'll hold it right there. Yeah. You're getting fast. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> now we're moving. off the ground now. Okay, let's go get these jack stands. See how much more we need. We need those. We need those. Yeah, we need these. Safety first. How's that? <laughs> we'll leave this jack there for safety. Yeah, good idea. Size and adjusted different than the other. It's about a half inch off. This driver's side's adjusted a half inch lower than the other side, so I've got it jacked up and I'm going to get a measurement and I'm going to make that other side match this one. By adjusting the torsion bars. Here we are at the front of a second generation S series all wheel drive SUV. It doesn't have any springs in the front. It's got a torsion bar going into the lower control arm. Goes all the way back here into this torsion bar cross member. And it's got a key on a hex shaft at the end of it. And at the end of the key, it has an adjustment bolt right there. You can turn that in or out to make it go up or down. And we're going to try and get it equal to that side to compensate for that half inch. Oh yeah, first try. Now i got to figure out which way to turn it. That side looks like it's hanging down a lot more than this side, so I'm going to back this one out. Look at that, it ain't even seized up. Oh, so beautiful. Other side's way backed out compared to this one. I don't know. But that was like a half inch difference on the ride height, so I guess I could believe it. That looks really close to that other side, maybe a little bit more. So that's a wrap on our 
first customization on the bravado. Comment below what you think we should do next. If you like the wheels, if you hate the wheels, if you think we should have went with something else. And thank you for watching Estin Life YouTube channel.